Hi guys and welcome back to this uh, C programming tutorial. Today we're going to learn about functions. Okay, and uh, functions are basically defined as set of instructions used to declare to execute a particular or specific task. Okay, so uh, function can be used to reduce the size of a program basically. Okay, so now what are the parts of a function basically i'm going to explain it with this example program on your screen here so basically a function contains three different parts okay the first one being the function prototype function prototype is the basic declaration of a function you declare the function that you tell the program you tell the compiler that i am going to use a function please provide some memory for me okay you are telling the function compiler okay that provide me some memory for this particular function i'm going to use this just allow me okay then you have the function uh, i mean the function definition okay this is generally written outside the main program not generally it is always written outside the main program okay and here you declare what all you want the function to do it is like a normal main function but you have a separate you can do whatever you want with it okay then you have a function calling okay function calling is basically you write in the value uh, you call the function inside the main function because why you might get it out that why i can just execute the function from outside the main function but what happens in real time is okay the compiler goes and checks only for the main function and nothing else the compiler doesn't bother you write 100 functions or 1000 functions goes and checks only for that single main function okay finds that main function executes it or else gives a damn error that's it nothing else okay so you have to basically call each and every function into your uh, this thing uh, into your main function so that it gets executed and you can call a function n number of times like i have called it two times here okay so now let us look at how this program works we'll go step by step uh, first of all i would like to introduce to you two parameter passing techniques okay parameter passing techniques are techniques that can be used to pass a value to a function okay like you can always have a declared you can always write your own values inside the function never mind not a problem but at cases you want that i want to transfer a value from the main function back to a function okay so how do you do that there are basically two different methods one is called call by value which you can see the program is written here call by value then we have a second one called call by reference so this is the program for call by reference okay notice we have used pointers for call by reference and we have used only the values we have not used a pointer we have not given an address over here okay we have used a value we are just sending a value that's it okay so uh, i would be showing to you how does this work with an example okay so basically consider that you are owning a joint account you and your friend are operating it okay so suppose you have a balance of 20000 rupees in that okay now suppose your friend goes to the atm and draws 10,000 rupees from the ATM. Okay. So what would be the final balance for your account? It would be 10,000. It wouldn't be 20,000, right? Okay. So that is the place where you're using call by reference. Okay. You're saying update my value if the address is updated. Okay. You're taking in the address. Okay. You're taking in the address and not the value at all. Okay. So if I change the value in the main area. Okay. I would be it would be even reflecting in the function also automatically you don't need to do anything because address is getting copied rather than the value itself but in call by value okay suppose we are using the same account with a call by value method okay your friend draws 10,000 rupees he gets 10,000 the balance for him shows 10,000 rupees but for you it would be showing you 20,000 rupees and I guess banks would be never using this because they don't want to get into losses, right? So, uh, call by reference is majorly used by banks. Okay. So, basically, that's the main difference between the call by value and call by reference. Okay. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you how does this work. 
Okay, so let us uh, first see how does call by value work. Okay, I'm going to call the same function twice to even show you that uh, a function can be called twice. Okay, so I'm entering four values into it. Uh, my first value would be one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then you can see values before swapping are one and two because I have given only one uh, x and y. So one and two would be coming up. Values after swapping since the first x and y has been executed. X, Y values get transferred here in int A, X gets transferred and int B, Y gets cancelled, transfer. So A value would be equal to 1 and B value would be equal to 2. And then the small coding here, I would take a temporary variable T. Remember one thing, T has a scope only within the function. You cannot call it in the main function. It is going to give you an error. Okay. So now what is this going to do is, Okay, it's gonna swap my numbers by just doing some small interchanging. Okay, and it's gonna print out me two comma two and one. Okay, then I have entered four, three and four. Okay, three would be getting passed to R, which would be indirectly passed to A, and S would be four. S would be passed to into B, and that would be again executing the same amount, same code, and return, returning me this value here. Okay, so basically this is the way. Uh, call by value works okay now if I go to call by reference okay if I go to call by reference okay suppose if I enter the same it's going to show you the same answer but here okay what is going to happen is it is not going to pass the value rather the address I can show you the proof of it okay suppose if I re remove these stars over here okay you can see the difference now here okay well 13 would be my values as you can see 12 and 13 didn't come but rather their addresses came out okay the address where these 12 and 13 were stored has come out and not the values itself okay so basically that's the difference okay you are getting out the addresses and not the values and whenever you change the value the value gets automatically changed because address is being copied rather than the value over there Okay, so that's it for the functions part. Okay, we are going to discuss uh, some more programs would be put up on my website uh, where you can have a look at them. Uh, we can even divide matrices, uh, multiplication of matrices into separate functions. Okay, and uh, we would be discussing about storage classes and dynamic memory allocation, structure and unions, all the four parts in the next coming video. Till then, Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe to this channel. And if you feel free, you can also report me errors in the programs you have got via my contact page on the website. Or else you can drop down that into your comments so that uh, I would be looking into it. Okay. So thank you for thank you guys for uh, looking uh, watching this video and spending your valuable time in learning C programming.